Police Commissioner Raymond Hsu attended the passing out parade at the police college today. He stressed the force will strictly enforce Article 23 of the Basic Law once it has been implemented. When asked whether the police will increase its manpower for enforcement purposes, Hsu said the information is highly confidential. Timothy Lee has our top story. A passing out parade was held at the Hong Kong Police College at Wang Shukang this morning. A total of 27 probationary inspectors and 127 new police constables passed out today. Police Commissioner Raymond Hsu said it is of utmost importance for any country or territory to ensure national security. He added that the police serve as the backbone of national security enforcement and that citizens also share responsibility. Su noted Hong Kong will only be truly safe if the nation is safe, and that the force will be strict in combating those who break the law. The police force's National Security Department was established the day after the implementation of the National Security Law in the SAR on June 30th in 2020, and is headed by a deputy police commissioner. In December of that year, the government allocated $8 billion for national security purposes and provided an additional $5 billion for the same reason in March last year. The department's manpower arrangements have not been disclosed since 2020. Now, people are asking how those arrangements could be impacted upon Article 23 legislation. But the police commissioner said the information is highly confidential. He also said there has been a rise in police applications after the force adjusted its recruitment requirements in May last year. More than 9,600 applied as of December last year. It was almost 8,000 in 2022. Timothy Lee, TVB News.